Welcome back everybody. After the last section, you should now be quite fluent at adding and structuring some textual content to your website. However, we are building a photography website, so, arguably, images have to be first-class citizen. In this video, you'll learn to deal with media files and how to show them on mobile as well as desktop in the most pleasant and fastest way. Responsive design becomes harder when you have to incorporate some media content. In fact, there are a lot of factors to consider. The connection speed could be a bottleneck on mobile. Maintaining the correct proportions could be tricky when having to show the same content both on portrait and landscape mode. The list will go on and on and on. With the help of Zurb Foundation, we'll try to lessen the pain involved in such situations. Today, we are going to start on a simple topic and you will create a rudimentary gallery of images using foundation classes to properly render the thumbnails. You can use one of the sections of our portfolio page, let's say the portraits one. Firstly, we remove the placeholder images, then we are going to add eight image thumbs wrapped inside an anchor, as we are used to doing it with plain HTML. The links will take us to the big images, while on the gallery page we only have smaller clickable thumbnails. We now need to style the newly created Portfolio Thumbnail class using SAS. Before we go ahead, however, we should give each section an ID, so that in our style file we can then define each one as a separate row. Let's do it on app SCSS. Now let's add the rules for portfolio.thumbnails to make it 12 columns on small, 6 columns on medium and 3 columns on large. We also have to include the thumb mixing to let foundation style it. If you save and refresh, however, you will see that while the thumbnail box occupies the whole available space, the image, however, doesn't scale. A quick fix for this problem is to set thumbnail images uh, mean widths to 100%. Now the images will adapt to the screen size correctly. In this video, you have created a basic responsive gallery for our portrait section. Sometimes, however, we do not want our images to be scaled in order to preserve their full quality. In such cases, one solution could be to keep the images on their real size and just evenly space them in the available space. In the next video, we'll see how to obtain this result using block grids. Thanks for watching.